Welcome to SVG TV News for Wednesday, February 25th, 2015. I am Jennifer Richardson with the details. This country will next month host a regional training workshop on simulation tools for energy efficiency in Caribbean buildings. The workshop runs from the 3rd to the 6th March 2015 and is geared towards the development of local capacity in the use of energy efficient software modeling and integration of energy efficiency rating systems. It will target persons in the public and private sectors who are directly involved with energy management, building and facility design and monitoring. The workshop is an activity being implemented by the Caribbean Community CARICOM Climate Change Center and involves five pilot countries, Grenada, Antigua and Barbuda, Belize, St. Lucia and St. Vincent and the Grenadines. The objective of the project is to transfer and implement sustainable energy policies, instruments and knowledge in the Caribbean countries through the promotion of energy efficiency applications and renewable energy use within the residential and public building sectors. The aim is to achieve a minimum reduction of 20% in electricity use through the pilot activities that are to take place during 2014 to 2017. A media release from the Caribbean Community Climate Change Center says SVG's residential and commercial sectors, including the government, are the largest consumers of electricity and that a recent audit of over 70 government buildings revealed that energy is being used inefficiently. It further states that the need to identify practical and cost-effective energy saving measures that will reduce energy use and lower operating costs is critical. The future is said to be very bright for cable television in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, as moves are being made to finalize the merger of Columbus Flow and Cable and Wireless Lime SVG. At Monday's public consultation looking at the merger of the two telecommunication companies, Representatives of Columbus Communication, John Reed, outlined some of the benefits to be had following the merger. Reed says, while Flow experienced some challenges upon entering the Vincentian market in relation to the channels it was legally allowed to broadcast, their new platform will soon allow them to introduce new technologies that will keep customers happy and add value to cable television on a whole. I believe in regionalization. I believe in all those products being exactly the same across the region. And actually on our new platforms, we are building those platforms in Trinidad and in Jamaica and in Grenada and St. Lucia and elsewhere and in, 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 the, in uh, St. Vincent so that there's a standard product across the region. It's interesting, we don't want to talk regional, but we do talk regional when we want to be compared to everybody else. I get that. And at the same time, where the opportunity is for us is not just to provide those core video channels is to continue to invest in the new technologies that will create some excitement for Columbus or for CWC or whatever NUCO is going to be called. You know, so people can take their experience outside their home, so they can record what they want in the cloud and they haven't got to worry about having a big expensive piece of equipment in their home. Where every channel looks like it's just looking at your window like a high definition experience rather than half it looks a little bit fuzzy from the old standard def days. That's what new technology can do. That's what the investment can do. And that's what Columbus had planned to do and will now be able to accelerate its plans across the region. Meanwhile, in addressing the issue of employment and job cuts, the Columbus Communication representative admits there will be job cuts during the temporary adjustment period of the merger, but they are committed to growing the employment base of the company. Two young gentlemen here sitting in the front row, Chris and Leslie, they both run competing companies. They feel that exact same anxiety that a lot of the staff do. And choices have been made, opportunities though within the new company will exist. And what you have to look at in terms of job creation, this is ground zero. This is day one, or will be post-merger. Day one, decisions have been made. Day 365, I guarantee you, I guarantee you that you will see, you will, you will look back and you'll see that continuous employment because investments creates growth, creates jobs. And that is a linear equation that has proven itself over and over again. And we've done this in other markets, I can tell you. Reed further gave Vincentians the commitment that all telecommunication services will be improved and says they intend on launching soon a broadband entry package of 5 megs.
Because at 5 megs, with a 60-inch TV, you can, you can basically watch anything you want to. You can stream anything you want to. And it's almost like a base level of performance, excuse me, at this time. So that's a, an updated commitment from our company because things are changing rapidly in our business, changing rapidly in your lives, and we need to make sure that we're responsive. Local number portability, we've obviously stepped up to the plate on that, and Columbus has been railing about that for years, so that's probably nothing new. And basically, if you're a customer, if you're unhappy, the Columbus model has always been, if you're not happy, no problem, you can leave tomorrow. If there's anything owed, you pay it and you leave. There's no contracts. There's nobody tying you up. I mean, it's a, it's a relationship. You manage it. If you don't manage it very properly, then the person has a right to go. And that's basically going to be brought forward in the new company. And we will enhance the customer experience, as I indicated. And there are opportunities to do this, identifiable opportunities where you know where the problems are, You've told us where the problems are. Now we've got to fix the problems. Mobilization for the commencement of the construction of the Mesopotamia Polyclinic under the 10th European Development Fund project is set to have commenced today. A release from the Ministry of Health, Wellness and the Environment says as a consequence, some adjustments have been made to the usual services at the Levi Latum Health Center. With effect from today, the hospital services will be relocated temporarily to the Evesham Health Center for a period of 18 months, while the clinic services will be available on the ground floor of the Mesopotamia Magistrates Court, with effect from Monday, March 2nd, 2015. The ministry says, in the meantime, residents of Mesopotamia and the surrounding communities can access clinic services from today until Friday, February 27th at the Calder, Richmond Park, and Evesham Health Centers. Upon completion of the polyclinic, residents of Mesopotamia and the surrounding communities will benefit from a new and upgraded medical facility. Police are investigating the circumstances surrounding the death of 20-year-old Devon Smith of Lago Height. Reports are that his body washed ashore around 6 this morning at Salt Whistle Bay in Myro. The latest lotto jackpot winner here claimed the prize today at a handing over ceremony at the National Lottery's headquarters. Pauli displayed the winning lotto ticket with the number 7, 19, 26, 34, and 26. Shelley McPhee said she and her common law husband will use the $164,000 to help in their wedding plans in the coming months. McPhee, who collected the winnings on behalf of her partner, Ronald George, who bought the tickets, said that the monies will also go into their children's education and house construction. In reflecting on the moment he realized he had won, George, a sanitation worker, said after playing a game of dominoes with his friends, he went through his pockets and discovered the win of his life. When I was seven, that was one of my favorite number seven. Because if I used to, when I used to play cards and play rapid, fifth seven is my favorite, not a number. And that's the first number I see. C19, I see three index. I tell the lady, say, Rose, check this ticket to please. So when she checked the ticket, she said, well, watch me. I watch her and she stay. Like she's surprised, you say, boy, $164,000 which today. And we had ways, I just feel good. And <laughs> I just collect the tickets and I just move up. We go up and up and look at the same time and the way she and I tell she and she didn't have the she had the idea of so the story she would come and we go home one time and deal with the sick cars. So that's how I end up with it. <laughs> yeah, you have plenty of use because my brother had his house to build. And we use some of the money to get married and do other things with the rest of the money. Yeah, yeah, children too. In secondary school, and my boyfriend have one still in secondary school. Meanwhile, General Manager of the National Lotteries Authority, Matt Gregor Seely, found a couple for their patronage and advised them to use their money wisely. I have seen persons winning more than this money, and um, today there is nothing to show for it. I want to urge you to use this money wisely. Um, I heard that your husband to be says it's part of a wedding present. <laughs> and I want you to invest all this money in children, in children's education. So 
congratulations once again. And please, let me implore you to spend this money wisely. Marketing Manager of the National Lotteries Authority, the NLA, Anthony Denny, expressed gratitude to patrons supporting the games. He said the NLA continually tries to come up with games that appeal to the public and pointed out that when players purchase tickets, they are indirectly supporting nation-building activities such as the education of students. I want to take the opportunity again to thank those persons who have been patronizing the game and encourage you to continue certainly purchasing our, our play for game and the other games that are made available by the National Artists Authority, the Lotto, the 3D, the Super 6, and our scratch card game. Don't forget we have our cash machine um, scratch card where you can win up to a maximum of $10,000 on that particular scratch card. There's hot dice and a couple more games also in the mix.